Bitcoin Cash has been laggardly in its own rally. You'll see that we had a dramatic spike down on October 27th, which really took us into the oversold territory. And we've been recovering in a questionable manner since. So it's not the most vigorous recovery. It looks very choppy and corrective. So I would not be surprised if we pulled back again a little bit lower. So right now I'm leaving our support at 533.63, which is the low of our the smaller wave two pullback thus far. Our major support still remains at 480. 411. I don't see us dropping below that because we're not seeing this kind of a pattern in Bitcoin or Ethereum or other major cryptocurrencies at the moment. With all that being said, if you are trying to top off your positions in Bitcoin Cash, we still have a good opportunity to buy a lump sum here. However, from this point onward, it is going to be best to dollar cost average by buying a little bit each month or week as the rally goes, because as the prices increase, your risk level goes up as well. Shifting to our big picture logarithmic view, you'll see that I have rearranged the patterns quite a bit since our last update had a change of heart on some of the extensions we're seeing. You'll see that our latest pullbacks went pretty low. And unlike other cryptos, we didn't get as overbought in Bitcoin Cash as with those. And our MACD is about to drop a little bit below zero right here with this latest pullback. However, it does look like we're recovering. What we're expecting next is that we are officially in a subwave three as marked in purple. And if we can start turning up and rallying more powerfully and more convincingly, our targets right now are between 1297 and 1542. But with sufficient extensions, we could go as high as 1715. If we make it to 1297, we're looking at over a 2x return right now and getting to that upper end of the box could get us a 3x return on the subway 3 alone. After a relatively shallow fourth of consolidation, our ultimate top for the subway 5 for the purple pattern is looking for somewhere between 2038 and 2695. 3200 price level is our 2.618 extension, which is a common target in blowoffs. And it would not be unprecedented in Bitcoin Cash because we do have a history of fifth wave blowoff tops. So I'm going to put our subway wave range there. If we do get anywhere near the 25, 2600 range, we're looking at a four and a half X return from where we are. After that point, we'd expect a long grindy fourth wave correction. And this pullback should coincide with what we see in Bitcoin and Ethereum. It'd be a major crash that could last several months or even a year or more. So that'd be a great time to take profits in order to set us up for a much better opportunity to buy after that point. That buy opportunity could take us well past $6,000, have upper targets still sitting at 11,000 because that does sit as a very strong Fibonacci influence for our overall pattern. Now that's the purple primary expectation. We also have an alternate blue pattern that I've added on here. We have this Fibonacci extension built out here based on this one, two. And of course this is logarithmic. Typically the top of your final fifth wave will fall somewhere between the 1.764 extension and the 2.0 extension. And as I mentioned before, the 1.764 extension could actually be our subwave three top. However, this could be our ultimate top. In short, what this blue alternate pattern is suggesting is that this purple box may be the ultimate top. We may nominally break our high from May of 2021, get into that $1,600, $1,700 range, and then we could have our drastic pullback. So we're going to have to watch how this develops. Right now, things are not looking particularly encouraging for the purple pattern because of how weakly we are rallying. And if this trend continues, I may have to shift to this blue pattern as my primary. So we're going to have to see some much more powerful extensions in purple really soon in order for this purple pattern to hold weight. At the same time, the silver lining is, as I mentioned earlier, our last impulse wave had a powerful fifth wave extension here. So it does seem like Bitcoin Cash has that habit of procrastinating, puts everything off until the last second. If we see that, we may see our extensions go wild later on and give the purple primary pattern more of an edge. But right now, the purple is the primary. We're waiting to see how things develop. Once we do reach that top, of course, best thing will very likely be to diversify, take your profits, maybe shift into altcoins or equities or other assets. Sometimes it's just best to enjoy your profits, enjoy the winnings and celebrate. But we have a ways to go before that. So if you'd like to keep getting updates on Bitcoin Cash and various other cryptocurrencies, please remember to subscribe. And if you enjoyed my video, don't forget to like. Until next time, thank you for watching and happy trading.